Welcome back to Sports Nightly. Now, usually around this time, we're all excited to head down to the Huntington Center to catch the Toledo Walleye in action. That, of course, is not the case this year with the COVID-19 pandemic. Things look a little bit different. The Walleye currently set to take the ice in January. The voice of the Walleye, Matt Melzak, stopped by the studio today to chat all things ECHL. When you're talking about the ECHL having to adjust, we'll see it again probably in the spring with minor league baseball. ECHL is the is the one we're talking about right now locally because of the fact that the walleye opted for the January 15th start date. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where those teams get underway here very soon. Their training camps are supposed to open uh, at the end of this weekend and into early next week for the teams that opted in for the December 15th start. And two of those we'll, we'll see locally in Wheeling and Indy. And it'll be interesting to see how they handle things, how things start. And I think that's one positive of, you know, opting for the second start is the fact that you can see how some of these teams adjust to what we're going to see, which is uh, players coming down with COVID and how they have to handle games being rescheduled, restructured, what you, how you handle players. Uh, you're seeing it at the NFL, seeing it in college football, all of the issues that they have to deal with on, a, on an almost daily basis, that's what's gonna have to be dealt with on the league side. So with the North Division, opting out this season, what does that look like for their players? I know some of them are up for free agency, but if they're on an NHL or AHL contract, how does that play into well, it? Well, NHL and AHL goes out out the window. They stay with their you know NHL, mm -hmm. AHL affiliate, and if there is gonna be some players assigned down from the American Hockey League to the ECHL, then that American League team will have to find another spot to place those guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you, th you take them out the window. The ECHL contract guys all become free agents for this season. Uh, it was the same thing that happened when you saw Atlanta and Norfolk uh, opt out earlier. So any players that they had signed all became free agents just for the 2021 season. Uh, so conceivably, we, let's bring it home here to Toledo. So conceivably, Toledo could say, oh, there's a player on Reading mm -hmm. I really like. So Dan Watson could conceivably now call said player or his agent and say, hey, I want to bring him into Toledo. He could sign him, bring him into Toledo for this year. After this season, though, that contract that they signed that said player with Redding, his rights would go back to Redding for that next season. And obviously they will work out their deal, whether the same contract it goes through or however they rework it, his rights revert back to the team that originally signed him for the year.